you have a blue phone and it go freeze on you all the time and we're going to show you how to fix that problem today here at studio 99 all right how to wipe your os off your blue phone and reinstall a new fresh os you know I've been looking it up on the internet and I'm not seeing any in English. I'm seeing a couple of stuff but not in English. Maybe in Spanish, in Italian, stuff like that. But never in English. So I'm gonna do this one for my English people. Yeah. Plug your phone out, take the battery out, plug it in back into the computer via USB and get started. I have First, I have um, a universal Android USB driver. I have an all MTK USB driver. Too. And I also have a blue, this is the OS, blue A010L V10. Right, I also have a flash. SP flash tool version 5.1628 for Windows and um, as I said already I have a universal Android USB uh, driver so first we're gonna get into it we're going to open up the M the all MK MTK driver and you're going to double click into that until you see a folder it's new INST for Windows and you're gonna go into that and you're going to look for DPI NST64 if you're using a 64 bit you're gonna right click on that and run with administrator you run that with administrator and you finish and after that then you're going to come around back to your original starting folder and look for now US Universal Bus ADB Driver Setup 6 and you're gonna install that after doing such beautiful things then you're going to now open up your flash tool and you look for flash tool at file that says flash tool and you right click on that and you run with administrator after finish running with administrator then you're going to see the middle tech page comes up you click on the scattered loading area as i do you click on this area beautiful click on that and you're going to navigate back to where the original file is in that folder blue folder go up there got the blue blue folder and you're gonna see that file mark mt6572 that's the file for the phone that i'm using at first you have to check your phone make sure you have the the right file for the right for the phone that you have you look at the back of the phone and you make sure that you have the right file you're going to download the right file now here is where we're going to download the file itself on the phone we already have the file on the computer so we're going to now move it over to the phone and this is the process that we use to do so you know so after this process and we're all done and uh, your phone is back to factory setting new brand phone brand new phone again and you're up and running still will have to put in your email addresses and so on and the normal setting up that you do when you get a new phone please remember to subscribe thank you